and three persons to accept his word. Glory to God on the highest on an earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory to God on the highest on an earth, peace, good will towards men. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy. Prostit me, forgive me. Nechai Hospit Bog, prostit me, God forgive you. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of age of Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Peace from above for the salvation of our souls let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. State of the Holy Church of the God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For, for those who enter with faith, reverence in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Bishop Polidion, for the Honorable Presbyter, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, loving and God, protect the country, Canada, its government, armed forces, and for all our pious people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And he will deliver his servants, the President, government, armed forces, and all peaceful inhabitants of Ukraine from all affliction, wrath, distress, and from all enemies visible and invisible in time of war, 
and that he may grant them health, long life, and peace through the prayers of the Theotokos. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city, village, and country, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the in abundance of the fruits of the earth for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who dwell by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For from all flesh, from all danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Always remember, in your most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and all our life unto Christ, our God. To you, O Lord. Your power is indescribable, your glory is comprehensible, your mercy is boundless, and love for my kind is ineffable. According to your tender compassion, O Master, look down on us and on this holy temple and grant us and those who pray with us your abundant mercies and compassion. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the age of. Amen. Благослови душа моя Господа и вся истота моя имя святее Його. Благослови душа моя Господа и не забывай за все добродейства Його. Він очищає усі беззаконня Твої, вселяє всі недуги Твої. Він звільняє вітлення життя Твоє, Він чає Тебе милістю щедротами. Щедрий милостивий Господь, Довго терпливий і многомилостивий. Благослови душа моя Господа, І вся істота моя м'я святе є Його. Благослови Єси Господи. Ще і ще, Мері Господи, помонімо. Господи, помилуй. Заступи, спаси, помилуй, нас, Боже, Твоєю благодаттю. Господи, помилуй. Присвятую причесю, православенню, сонню, владичу нашу, благороду, супресудиву Марію. Зосимці ти помненувши самі себе один одного, все, що ти наш Христ, Богові відомо. Тобі, Господи, Бо Твоє влада і Твоє зараз, Твоє сили слава, Отця і Сина, і Святого Духа, нині позя час і на віки віків. Амінь. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will sing praises to my God for as long as I live. Put not your trust in rulers, in the sons of men in whom there is no salvation. His spirit will depart from him, and to his earth he will return. On that day all his plans perish. The Lord will reign forever. Your God will sign on to generation and generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, on to ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal, and did will for our salvation to become incarnate of the Holy Theodokos and ever Virgin Mary and was changed became man and were crucified O christ god trampling down death by death being one of the holy trinity 
glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace with the Spirit of the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you remember in turn most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious, and atheist, host, us, and ever virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life. Unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. You who have given us these common single-hearted prayers and, pro and promise to grant the request of two or three who agree in your name. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants for their benefit, granting us in this world knowledge in your truth and the world to come life everlasting. For you are a good God and lover of mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. In your kingdom remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the poor in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they shall revile and persecute you, and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for or my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. proportional wisdom, let us stand aright. Come and let us worship and bow down before Christ, O Son of God from the dead. Save us to sing to you, Alleluia. Bez pošetkove slovo ću i duhove, vidjive narođene na spasinja naše, ospivamo vini i poklonimo se. Bovin blagozvole u tijelom zice na hrast i smak pretrpiste i voskraste pomerle slavnim voskres sinjem svojim. We venerate your most smart, pure image, O God, one, asking your forgiveness of our transgressions, O Christ God. In your good will, it pleased you to ascend the cross and the flesh, to deliver from the enslavement of the enemy those whom you have fashioned. Therefore, we cry out to you in thanksgiving, you have filled all things with joy, O Savior, for you have come to save the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. The unsubscribed word of the Father became circumscribed, Taking flesh from you, Theodokos, and he has restored the tarnished image to its ancient glory, filling it with divine beauty. We confess this our salvation in word and deed. For you are holy, O our God, and unto you we send 
have glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of each other. Amen. <laughs> Ветерпили, 
Ті, що світ не варті, бо їх тинялися по пустині та горах, і по печерах та провала земли. І всі вони, одержавши в засвідчення вір'ю обітниці, не прийняли, бо Бог бачив щось краще про нас, щоб вони не, не, не без нас досконалі одержали. Тому і ми мавши навколо себе велику таку хмару світів, скиньмо всякий тягар за гріх, що оточить нас, та і біжімо з терпеливістю до боротьби, яка перед нами являється на Ісуса, на начальника і виконавця віри. Brethren, by faith Moses, when he became of years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than treasures in Egypt, he, for he looked to the reward. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and the Samson and Jephasas, of David also and Samuel and the prophet, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, rent the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword out of weakness, were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens, Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were torched, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others at trial of cruel mockings and scourings, yet moreover of bonds and imprisonment, they were stoned, they were sawn in two, were tempted, they were slain with the sword, they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And these, all having obtained the good testimony through faith, received not the promise. God, having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. Therefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run the patient, the race that is set before us. Look into Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And to your spirit, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Moses and Aaron are among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. They call upon the Lord and he heard them. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Instill in us also the fear of your blessed commandments, so that overcoming all cardinal desires, 
we may pursue our spiritual life, both thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For you, Christ God, are light of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory, together with your Father's everlasting, your all holy, good, and life burning spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> forever. On this, the first Sunday of Great Lent, we commemorate it as the Sunday of Orthodoxy, <clears throat> the Sunday that we proclaim the triumph specifically of Orthodoxy over the iconoclasts. This was a battle that the fathers of the church struggled with as the heresies of the church began to develop. The emperor and the empress, ahead of the Seventh Ecumenical Council, <clears throat> began to fall into the, the Old Testament practices and ideas that icons shouldn't be in the churches, that we should not have any images because of the Old Testament teachings or the teachings of Islam which were starting to creep into the Byzantine Empire. But the fathers convened the Seventh, Ecumen Seventh Ecumenical Council and established the doctrine that kept the icons in the churches and statues. Because our Roman Catholic brothers and sisters, they have statues. These images were remained in the church because of the importance that they had for our 
faith. Now, this was the seventh century that this was seventh, eighth century that this triumph happened. But today, we commemorate it this first Sunday of the Sunday of Great Lent. Now, what would we have commemorated before that? Because this triumph hadn't happened yet. So for the first 300 years, the church was under persecution. Couldn't openly practice. And then for the next about 400 years, 400 plus years, as, as it was safe to be a practicing Christian in the open, we eventually saw this, th these battles that uh, happened of thought and the establishment of this edict from the Seventh Council. Well, t in the early church, for the first many, first half of, half of the 2,000 years, you could say almost, of the church, what was actually commemorated is what we heard in the, ep in the epistle today were the fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets of the Old Testament. We, because there's so much that we can learn from even these leaders, teachers, and prophets of the Old Testament. As we hear, as Paul wrote in Hebrews, for the time would fail to tell me for the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah and also of Daniel and Samuel the prophets you know we saw Daniel Daniel in the lion's den cast into a pit with lions that were hungry ready to feast and he was saved Samson this great strong man that as long as his hair was never cut, he was the, the thorn in the side of the Philistines. We see, we hear of Daniel, King, or King David, I mean. King David and how he began to establish the, the construction of the temple and Solomon who, who completed it. And Solomon also was known as the, as the wise. He had leaders of the communities from around the, the Middle East and Africa and, and Europe coming. Well, Europe wasn't a, known as Europe, but from all over the area coming because of the wisdom, the wisdom of Solomon. The temples, sadly, he erected temples of, of every god so that all could worship. But he did plant one seed that became fruitful. And we hear this in the Acts of the Apostles when the Ethiopian queen came to visit Samson, or Sam, uh, Solomon. He, she took back the Hebrew teachings and eventually after Christ's resurrection, Philip ran across the Ethiopian eunuch who was baptized and became a Christian because he was reading Isaiah. He was reading the Old Testament scripture and understood of the coming Messiah. So there's so much that on this day of orthodoxy, the triumph, it's not just of the icon, but it's the triumph over all evil. It's the joyful proclamations that we, as Christians, bring that good news into the world. That we take that which was old, or that which we have forgotten, and proclaimed it to the ends of the earth for all to hear. And to be that example in the world. As we've gone through these Sundays of preparation, it's teaches us how we are to live, how we are to be Christians, what we're supposed to do in our life. And today, as we begin, 
finish this first week of Great Lent, this Sunday takes all of that and then says, here's the teachings of the church. Let's hold them dear. Let's show the triumph of orthodoxy over the heresies that were fought through the first seven councils. Let us continue to be triumphed. Let us let not let evil come into the world, into our hearts, and drag us down. But have strength, be joyful, and persevere through the great Lent as we are bombarded by these temptations. But no, like Daniel in the lion's den, and Sam, Samson as Delilah tempted him to tell his secret. We don't have to succumb. We can persevere past. We can be the strength if we wish to be. We just have to be willing to put ourselves out there and be the example. So let us, as we continue down this time of great Lent, let us put ourselves out there. Follow the teachings. Be good examples of Christ in the world. And prepare ourselves to receive him at his glorious resurrection. Let us remember this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according <coughs> to your great loving kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Hospital Familia, Hospital Familia, Hospital Familia. Again, we pray for his grace, our Bishop Aletion, for our brethren, the presbyters, priests, monks, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our God, loving and God, protected country, Canada, its people, government, armed forces, that the Lord God will help them in all things and protect them from all enemies. An adversary. Kitty Alison, Kitty Alison, Kitty Alison. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Orthodox Patriarch, for the founders of this holy temple, and for all Orthodox Christians, be part of this life before us who appear and everywhere lie asleep in the Lord. Hospital Pamela, Hospital Pamela, Hospital Pamela. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and the forgiveness and remission of sins for the servants of God. Set up the priests of us, the priests of Diana, the priests of Catherine, Anastasia, Ron, Valerie, Joanne, Olga, Danica, Julian, Kira, Steve, Elsie, Alan, Arlene, and protection from all plague, people, wrath, danger, necessity, spiritual and physical illness. Grant them health and long life, we beseech you, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray unto you, O Lord our God, that you will grant unto your servants, Steve, Fergus, Daryl, Donna, Eleanor, Claudia, healing from their illness from every malady, raising them from their beds, give them health and soul and body, we beseech you. Hear us and have mercy. Kitty Alison, Kitty Alison, Kitty Alison. <coughs> Again we pray to the Lord our God that he will hearken unto the voice of the prayer of us sinners and protect all Ukrainian people in the difficult trials in the time of war for their liberation and for mercy upon his servants all Ukrainian armed forces, personnel defending Ukraine from occupation, 
and that our all-merciful Lord will shield them from fatal wounds, from all spiritual and physical illness, and that he will protect them from all affliction, wrath to anger <coughs> and sorrow in time of war, and that he will grant them to return from war in good health, uninjured and in blessedness. Through the prayers of the holy archangel Michael, all merciful Lord, hear us and have mercy. Look down from your dwelling place on high, O Lord our God, and as a good and merciful one, ease the anguish, misfortune, distress, and sorrow of your Ukrainian people in time of war, especially refugees, children, the infirmed, and the aged. Manifest your might, come and protect them all, that the enemy would not rejoice at the sight of our death. We pray you, O most merciful Lord, through the prayers of our Holy Lady, the Theotokos, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Jesus, the merciful one, our, o our Savior, look upon our people in, the, in Ukraine in time of war. Though whose sons and daughters, all refugees, deprived of human shelter, wandering about the earth, fleeing from the horrors of war and death, manifest your mercy before us. The sinners, and grant shelter to all Ukrainian refugees and bless all those who offer them shelter and aid. Through the prayers of the Holy Hierarch, Nicholas, the wonder worker, hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray to you, O Lord our God, hear us in our great need and our thirst for your presence, as you have said. The harvest is indeed great, but the laborers are few. And we pray that you will open the hearts of many to a desire to bring in the harvest dedicated holy priests, deacons, and monastics who in following your example will serve your people and satisfy their spiritual needs. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Again, we pray, O Lord, embrace our young people and give them the courage required to overcome all obstacles in life, all temptations which might plunge them into spiritual darkness. Give to their parents, their first teachers of faith, morality, and piety, the courage to be the guiding light in their lives. Hear us, O Lord and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy altar the temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your grace and abundant mercy. Kerialeson, kerialeson, kerialeson. And upon all your people who wait the rich mercy that comes from you. For you are a merciful God and lover of mankind, and to we send that glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of age. Amen. servants, the catechumens, who have bowed their necks before thee, and grant them a light yoke, make them honorable members of the Holy Church, and count them worthy of the lavery generation, for remission of sins and the rope of incorruption, unto the knowledge of thee, our true God. Amen. All catechumens, 
depart catechumens, depart then none of the catechumens remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. Thou, O Lord, has revealed to us this great mystery of salvation. Thou hast made us thy humble and unworthy servants, worthy to be ministers of thy holy altar. By the power of the Holy Spirit, make us sufficient for this service, so that standing blamelessly before thy holy glory, we may offer thee a sacrifice of praise. For thou art art he that worketh all things in all men. Grant, O Lord, that our sacrifice may be acceptable and well-pleasing before thee, for our sins and for the errors of the people. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. O God, who in mercy and com compassion has visited our lowliness and has set us, thy humble and sinful and unworthy servants, before thy holy glory to minister at thy holy altar. By the power of thy Holy Spirit, strengthen us for this service and grant us speech in the opening of our mouths to call the grace of the Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are about to be set forth. Show up it, why are you glad? You don't stay, but I shall meet to be slow on the line, what's you is in, I said, the mother of COVID, in any possession of the week, he be
Archbishop is grace to the young Bishop of Edmonton, the Western Apurkey, locum tenens of the Metropolitan, Rome, Orthodox Hierarchy, Honorable Priest of the Diaconate in Christ, and all monastic ranks, those who minister and those who sing in this holy temple, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of age of. Bom nubim bom berge krainesh kanado sa udya besokus sa sepo boshnaro. Judeska Johanna Kai Pong and the hospital boy stops his queen, Zausha and any Posyak Chas and the VK VK. The honorable and ever memorable founders, benefactors, and parishioners of this holy temple, may Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, unto the ages of age of. Vasti si Pravosavni Christian, Nikai Pong and the hospital boy stops his queen, Zausha and any Posyak Chas, Nina VK VK. Amen. That we may receive the King of all, who comes invisibly upborne by the angelic host. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oblation Holborn's offerings and they will offer bullocks upon your altars. Life, who has 
has shown us the ways of true salvation and bestowed on us the revelation of heavenly mysteries. It is thou who has appointed us to the service by the power of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, O Lord, be well pleased for us to become servants of thy new covenant and ministers of the holy mysteries. Accept us as we draw near to the holy altar according to the greatness of thy mercy so that we may become worthy to offer thee this rational blood to sacrifice for our sins and for the heirs of the people. Having received it on thy, thy holy and noetic altar, above the heavens and the sweet spiritual fragrance, send down upon us in return the grace of thy Holy Spirit. Look down on us, O God, and behold this our worship. Receive it as thou didst receive the gifts of Abel, the sacrifices of Noah, the whole burnt offerings of Abraham, the priestly offices of Moses and Aaron, the peace offering of Samuel, even as thou didst receive from thy holy apostles this true worship. So now, in thy goodness, accept these gifts from thy hand of us sinners, O Lord, that having been counted worthy to serve without offense at thy holy altar, we may find the reward of wise and faithful stewards of thy dread day of thy just retribution. Shadro tamy yet in a road, no sinner to all, so name blows of any say, he preached him, he blame him to bet fortune to him duco, nay, niposiacha, nina viki viki. The very, the very primordial void, more важный. The doors, the doors, and wisdom. Let us be attentive. И воплотился вид Святого Духа и Мадива Марии стал человеком. Распятый был за нас в Понте и Палате, Сождал и был похован, и воскрес на третий день, Их было написано. И возник становя обосадить поворотчу отца, И снова пойду в славе, где ты живешь, мертвый царство же не будет кинца. И в Духа Святого Господа Творца, что ведутся походить, Что ему за всем и сыном однокове поклонение, однокове слава, что орел через пророки. Единую святую соборную апостольскую церковь, где с ней одно крашение от пущения грехов, чекает воскресенье мертвых и життя будущего веку. Аминь. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Rates of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. And then one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. Who was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds on from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophet in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. 
I await the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen.
becoming subject to death through his own transgressions. Thou, O God, in thy righteous judgment didst send him forth from paradise into the world, returning him to the earth from which he was taken, and providing for him the salvation through rebirth in thy Christ himself. For thou didst not turn thyself away forever from thy creature, whom thou hast made, O good one, nor didst thou forget the work of thy hands. But through the tender compassion of thy mercy, thou didst visit him in various ways. Thou didst send prophets, thou didst perform mighty works by the saints in whom every generation were well pleasing to thee. Thou didst speak to us by the, the mouth of thy servants, the prophets, foretelling to us the salvation which was to come. Thou didst give us the law as a help. Thou didst appoint angels as guardians. And when the fullness of time had come, thou didst speak to us through thy Son himself, by whom thou didst also make the ages, who being radiant in thy glory and thy image of thy person, upholding all things by the word of his power, though it not robbery to be equal to thee, the God and Father, though he was God before the ages, yet he appeared on earth and lived among men, and becoming incarnate of the Holy Virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being likened to the body of our lowliness, that he might liken us to the image of his glory. For since man, sin, for since by man sin entered the world, and by sin death, so it pleased thy only begotten Son, who was in the bosom of thee, the God and Father, who was born of a woman, the holy Theotokos, and ever virgin Mary, who was born under the law, to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who were dead in Adam might be made alive in thy Christ himself. He lived in this world and gave us commandments of salvation, and releasing us from the disillusions of idolatry, he brought us to the knowledge of thee, the true God and Father, obtaining us for himself as his own people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. And having cleansed us with water and sanctification by the Holy Spirit, he gave himself as a ransom to death, in which we were held captive, sold under sin, and descended through the cross into hell that he might fill all things with himself. He loosened the pang pangs of death, and when he had risen on the third day, having made for all flesh a path to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible for the author of life to be held by corruption, he became the first fruits of those who, had, who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that in all things he might have the, have the premise over all, Ascending, ascending into heaven, he sat down at the right hand of thy majesty on high, and he will come to render every man according to his works. And as memorials of his saving passion, he left us these things, which have been set forth according to his command. For when he was about to go forth, he was voluntary and ever memorable and life-giving death. In the night in which he gave himself up for life for the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and when he had shown it to thee, the God and Father, and had given thanks, and blessed it, and hallowed it, and broke it. Thou sietim swim ucine kame, i apostle, i promomo, primis pojavaite, setila moja, shudavasa lamaya, sinavai pushnia, rekiute, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine, and having mingled it with, mingled it and given thanks, having blessed it and hallowed it. Thou siatim swoim uchinakami apostolum i promovo, petis nev si se krov moja novo zavitu, što za vas se mno prolovaje se novi pušnji a rekeu, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. <laughs> Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess <coughs> my resurrection. Therefore, we also, O Master, remember, remembering his saving passion, and the life-giving cross, his three-day burial, the resurrection from the dead, the ascension into heaven, and sitteth to the right hand of, the fo of thee, the God and Father, and his glorious and dread second coming. 
Voya vitui, to be prenosomo zavsi, zavsa yours of your own. We offer to you on behalf of all and for all. We praise you. We bless you. We give thanks unto you. Because of this, O Lord, O Holy Master, we also, your sinful and unworthy servants, whom you have made worthy to minister at your holy altars, not through our own righteousness, for we have done nothing good upon the earth, but because of your mercies and compassion, which you have richly poured out upon us, dare to draw near to your holy altar, and presenting to, your, to you the antitypes of the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray you when we call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon these gifts here set forth and bless them and howl them and show. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O Lord, who in the third hour did send down most Holy Spirit upon, upon your apostles, do not take upon us the good of renewal, so we pray unto you. Create me a clean heart of God, renew a right spirit within me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down most Holy Spirit upon your apostles, do not take it from us, O good and renew, who pray unto you. Cast me not away from your presence, make not your Holy Spirit from me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down most Holy Spirit upon your apostles, do not take it from us, O good and renew, who pray unto you. And this bread to be truly the precious and body of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And this cup to be truly the precious blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Shed for the life of the world. Amen, amen, amen. That they may be to those who partake for the forgiveness of sins, remission of sins, and life everlasting. Amen. Oh, so prebo za preso tu preceso prebo za vano sa mi obladeću našu borodu tu prezadivo Mariju, especially for our most holy, most good, most pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Tu boju radi se vladatne osjaka ja tvar anhelski su borijuske rid. Osjećani hrame i raju slovesni djivstva hvalo. Vitaj Bogu, plateo se djetjom, stao predvični Bog naš. Bolo na tvoje prestole mučenil i jutro u tvoju prostišnju nebe stvorio tu boju blagodatnaja. Radi se vsjaka ja tva. All creation rejoices in you, full of grace. The assembly of angels and the race of men, O sanctified temple and spiritual paradise, the Lord of virgins from whom God was incarnate and became a child, our God before the ages, he made your body from the throne and your womb he made more spacious than the heavens. All of creation rejoices in you, O full of grace, glory to you. With holy prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, with the holy glorious and laudable apostles of the venerable Artixias, monk of Bithyan, St. Cyril, equal to the apostles, teacher of the Slav, of the venerable Basil, the confessor, the higher Ar Arsinian, metropolitan of Rostov, of whose memory we keep today, with all the saints at whose supplications visit us, O God. And remember all those who have fallen asleep 
before us in the hope of resurrection and eternal life, especially for the presbyter Isidore and all those who have lost their lives in the in Ukraine and give them rest where light of thy countenance shines on them. Again, we entreat thee, remember, O Lord, the holy Catholic and apostolic church, which from end to end of the world give peace to her whom thou hast obtained with the precious blood of thy Christ and preserve this holy house until the end of the world. Remember, O Lord, those who have offered these gifts unto thee and those for whom and through whom and on behalf of whom they have offered them. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and do good work in your holy churches and those who remember the poor. Reward them with thy rich and heavenly gifts. Grant them heavenly things for earthly, eternal things for temporal, things incorruptible for things incorruptible for things corrupt, corruptible. Remember, O Lord, those in the deserts, mountains, caverns, and the pits of the earth. Remember, O Lord, those who live in virginity and godliness in a stewardry and holiness of life. Remember, O Lord, this country and all civil authorities. Grant them where them a secure and lasting peace. Speak good things into their hearts concerning thy church and all thy people, that we, in their tranquility, may lead a calm and peaceful life in all godliness and sanctity. Remember, O Lord, every principality and authority, our brethren who serve in the government and armed forces. Preserve the good good in thy goodness, and make the evil to be good by thy goodness. Remember, O Lord, the people here present, and also those who were absent for a good reason. Have mercy on them, and on us according to the multitude of thy mercies. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Raise the infants, train the youth. Support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted. Gather together those who are dispersed. Lead back those who are in error and join them to thy holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Free those who are, who are vexed by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail. Travel those who travel by land and air. Defend the widows. Protect the orphans. Free the captives. Heal the sick. Remember, O, Lord, o God, those who are in the courts, in mines, in exile, in harsh labor, and those in any kind of affliction, necessity, or distress. Remember, O Lord our God, all those who entreat thy great loving kindness, those who love us, those who hate us, those who have asked us to pray for them, unworthy though we be. And remember all thy people, O Lord, our God, and pour out thy rich mercy upon all of them, granting them their petitions that are for their salvation. And do thou thyself, O God, remember all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or the multitude of names, since thou knowest the name and age of each, even from his mother's womb. For thou, O Lord, art the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the be, of the be stormed, the haven of the voyagers, the physician of the sick. Be all things to all men. O thou who lo knowest each man and his request, his home and his need, deliver this city, O Lord, and every city and country from famine, pest, pestilence, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, foreign invasion, and civil war. Among the first, remember, O Lord, our Bishop, His Grace, Alidion, Bishop of Edmonton in the Western Africa, locum tenens of the Metropolitan Throne, grant for him in your holy churches, peace, safety, honor, health, length of days, rightly to find the word of your truth. And all mankind. Remember, O Lord, all the Orthodox Episcopate to rightly teach the word of thy truth. Remember, O Lord, my unworthiness also, and the multitude of thy compassion. Forgive my tr every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary, and do not do not, because of my sins, withhold the grace of thy Holy Spirit from these gifts here set forth. Remember, O Lord, the, pres the presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, and every order of the clergy, and let none of us who stand about the holy altar be put to shame. Visit us with thy loving kindness, O Lord. Manifest thyself to us in thy rich compassion. Grant us seasonable and health healthful weather, and send down showers upon the earth so that it may bear fruit 
and bless the crown of the year with thy goodness. Make the schisms of the churches to cease. Pacify the ravings of the nations, and quickly destroy the uprisings of heresies by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive us all into thy kingdom, showing us to be sons of life and sons of day. Grant us thy peace and thy, and thy love, O Lord our God, for thou hast given all things to us. And grant that with one mouth and one heart we may praise the most honorable, majestic name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the age of the age of. Amen. Nechai budet milase valeko bos pasanashi susreta ima mami Lord, have mercy. Nechai 
хлеб наш насущный дай нам сегодня, и просте нам проведе наш, яки ме прошлай минуватцем нашим, и не уведе нас у спокусу, але везвал нас вид лукаво. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the law, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Here we sing peace unto all, and to your spirit, and bow our heads unto the Lord, to you, O Lord. O Master, Lord, Father of compassions, and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, strengthen, and empower those who have bowed their heads to thee. Make them to withdraw from every evil work, unite them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these thy most pure and life-giving mysteries, for the remission of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Through the grace, mercy, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages.
believe, O Lord, and I confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I also believe that this is truly your own oh, most pure body and that this is truly your own precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of your most pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, Receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of your mysteries to your enemies, neither like Judas will I give you a kiss, but like the thief I will confess you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. May the communion of the holy mysteries, O Lord, be neither to my judgment nor condemnation, but unto the healing of soul and body. Amen. Dear you, hospitals, Ще вірю, що це, пече, це саме печисти тіло Твоє, і це саме часна кров Твоя. Боюся, отже, ти тобі помилуй мене, і прости мені провини мої, війни і невійні, чи ту слові, чи в ділі, свідомі і несвідомі. І сподоби мене неосудно запрощаситися, і чисти Твоїх тайн на відпущення гріхів на життя вічне. Амінь. Вечері Твої тайні, Сене Божі, причастку мене сьогодні, причастку сьогодні, мене сьогодні прийме. Бо Орган тим тайне не розповім цілювання, не дам тобі як юда, а як розбійник возю тебе. Поміни мене в Господу в царстві твім. Нехай не на судний осуд буде мені часто стосов твоїх тайн, Господи, але на стілень душі і тіла. Амінь.
congest up into the into the middle but come to the the side Počele pravedniki, dušu sveto spase u pokoj. Izbeži obličan mužiti, tebe človeko ljubče. In the place of your rest, O Lord, where all the saints repose. Give rest to the soul of your servant. For you alone are the lover of mankind. Slava to his son, his tomu duchovi. Te se boš to do adu zišo, i rozvel za kamenje kaj dane. Sami dušo raba tvojo upokoj. In it, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, only pure and immaculate virgin, who bore God without sin, pray that his soul be saved.
Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. How can we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God? The heart is adored. Be part of all this. Glory to you, Christ our God, our all glory to you. Glory 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father, bless. We praise your true God who rose from the dead and whose dominion over the living and the dead through the prayers of his most dear mother, of our Holy Father among the saints, Basil the Great, Archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, and of the holy apostles Peter and Paul, whom this temple is named, the venerable Basil the Confessor, the higher Arsenius, Metropolitan of Rosto, the higher Martyr Procuria, Patriarch of Alexandria, the higher Martyr Nestor, Bishop of Magdulo in Pamphylia, the venerable Morena and Kiranons of Syria, and of the holy all praised apostles of our venerable and god bearing fathers and of all the saints establish the soul of his servant the archpriest isidore in the mansions of the righteous give him rest from the bosom of abraham and number him among the righteous and have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and the lover of mankind <laughs> eternal rest in blessed repose, O Lord, to your departed servant, the archpriest Isidore, and make his memory be eternal. <laughs> Slava Isus Christu. We've got two more little prayers and, and, and to do. Yeah. 
Um, for I don't know who all brought icons today with them as it's the Sunday of Orthodoxy. If you did, I want to invite you to come and, and line up at the bottom of the stairs. We, we won't do a, a full procession today, but come to hold your icons up at the, at the, at the front of the church here to, to show them to all, and we will uh, announce, make the proclamation that is normally done at the Sunday of Orthodoxy Vesper service um, here uh, before us, with us all here today. So please, don't be shy. Come forward and, and line up. As, as I, I mentioned earlier, that this is a, a very important day for, for us as Orthodox Christians that we recognize, that we point out the truth and the doctrine of Orthodoxy and the, the triumph of uh, the fathers of the church over those who wanted to get rid of the icons that we see in, in our church today. So we will proclaim the, uh, the uh, Synodicon for the Sunday of Orthodoxy. As the prophets beheld, as the apostles taught, as the church received, as the teachers dogmatized, as the universe agreed, as grace illumined, as the truth was revealed, as falsehood passed away, as wisdom presented, as Christ awarded, thus we declare, thus we assert, thus we proclaim our true God and honor his saints in words, in writings, in thoughts, in sacrifices, in churches, in holy icons, on the one hand worshiping and reverencing Christ as God and Lord, and on the other hand honoring and venerating his saints as true servants of the same Lord. This is the faith of the apostles. This is the faith of the fathers. This is the faith of the orthodox. This is the faith which has established the universe. Therefore, with brotherly love, we praise thee, preachers of piety, for the glory and honor of their precious struggles for the faith. And we say, eternal be the memory of the champions of orthodoxy, pious emperors, most holy patriarchs, hierarchs, teachers, martyrs, and confessors. Thus we proclaim. Thank you all. And yeah, it's okay. Yeah. 